thank you for your introduction. Uh, today I'm here to present uh, uh, the uh, practical experience we gained during uh, the design and then the deployment of uh, an IoT infrastructure for the structural um, monitoring of uh, uh, state of health of uh, a renovated bridge uh, in, uh, in the city of, uh, of Brescia. Uh, let's start from the beginning of the story. Uh, the renovation of this uh, uh, bridge is part of a larger project called uh, Bosore. Sorry for the bad acronym, but it's uh, an Italian acronym. Uh, it's an Italian-founded project um, which, uh, that focuses on the possibility and on the capability of using uh, ICT infrastructure and services mm. as uh, a layer for improving the sustainability and the resilience of mobility infrastructure. Uh, the main targets of the project are three, uh, you can see uh, summarized in the slide. Uh, basically, um, the infrastructure, uh, the design of infrastructure for uh, improving the resilience of uh, transportation facilities. Uh, the design and then the testing of new building materials for road infrastructure recovery, uh, and uh, then the, <coughs> the design of infrastructure and uh, ICT, solution, uh, ICT solution for road surface monitoring and predictive diagnostic. Uh, basically, the project, uh, as I mentioned before, is based, is based on a street uh, in interconnection between ICT infrastructure and uh, the transportation facilities. Uh, the, the renovation of, uh, of the building is uh, uh, one of the testing uh, sites for one of the pillars of uh, this project, in particular uh, the, uh, the, the resilience of uh, uh, road infrastructure. Uh, f just to summarize a few numbers and facts about <coughs> this project. As an Italian, uh, is a, a project founded by the Italian, uh, one of the Italian region. Uh, the, um, the project is uh, composed by eight partners, uh, two research partners, my university and another research institute, Enea, uh, two big companies and four small, medium uh, enterprises. Uh, the total duration of the project was uh, three years was because the project was uh, already uh, closed, uh, and the budget of the project is uh, 11 million. Uh, during the project, we uh, test uh, this, uh, our solution, the solution we, de we designed in three different testing sites, and one of these testing, testing sites uh, uh, was the, uh, the bridge renovation uh, I, that I presented uh, you today. <coughs> The project started uh, at, uh, uh, in January 2020, and uh, uh, we plan to uh, close all the activity on December of 2022. Uh, and uh, at the beginning, we uh, was uh, uh, pretty sure to be able to close all the renovation uh, uh, work of the buildings uh, approximately in the second part of uh, uh, the second year of our uh, research project in order to uh, have a, a, a lot of time to record and then analyze the data from the uh, recovered bridge. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the story is uh, completely different. Uh, our project started uh, in the mid of uh, the COVID pandemic, so we experienced a lot of uh, delay uh, with uh, the inspection of bridge and a lot of delay in the interaction with the construction um, companies. But fortunately, we uh, we was lucky and we was able to close the project uh, in time at the end of uh, December uh, 2022. Um, <coughs> uh, the uh, workflow, something about the workflow of the bridge renovation. Uh, we divide the working uh, of uh, the renovation of the bridge in four different phases. During the first phase, uh, our uh, colleague working in the civil engineering uh, area uh, perform a, a technical inspection of, uh, of the existing bridge uh, in order to identify the best uh, solution for the uh, recovering uh, the bridge from the structural, structural point of view. Uh, then, together, we uh, plan, we design and plan uh, the intervention to uh, recover the bridge from both the structural part and uh, 
about the installation of sensors and uh, data collection system. Uh, then we uh, supervise uh, the execution of the work on, on the bridge, and finally we uh, collect and analyze the data um, generated by the sensor installed inside the building in order to assess the validity of uh, the uh, renovation uh, fees. So, first of all, we have to identify uh, the place, uh, or at least uh, identify uh, the bridge to renovate. We selected uh, a bridge located in the south part of uh, the province of Brescia. Uh, the name of the small village is called Bassano Bresciano, uh, but uh, uh, the bridge is along one of the most important road uh, that connect the north with the south part of the province. So, the bridge is almost important. Um, after the identification of the bridge, uh, uh, we, or at least or better, um, my colleague uh, working in the civil engineering area perform a in-person inspection of, uh, of the bridge in order to identify the damage of the bridge. And they perform an uh, in-person inspection and you can see the state uh, the status of the bridge in some uh, of this picture. In particular, uh, the most damaged part of uh, this kind of uh, bridge uh, was the pillars and the beam. Uh, during uh, the project, we perform also, or we try also to perform an, automatic, an automated uh, inspection of uh, the state of uh, health of the bridge using uh, uh, drones and uh, uh, laser scanner. But uh, due to the lack of time, uh, we uh, don't use this data then for the planning of the recovery uh, intervention. Um, <coughs> uh, my colleague working in uh, civil engineering area identified the best uh, recovery technique for this kind of, uh, of damage, and uh, in particular, they apply the so-called ultra-high performance fiber reinforced concrete jacketing. I'm not an expert in that technique. Uh, basically, the solution is based on uh, the cast of a fluid fiber reinforced concrete uh, on uh, the damage, uh, on the damage uh, structural element. Uh, this uh, kind of solution is able to uh, recover or uh, to recover the bridge. Uh, uh, limiting the cost of the uh, of uh, uh, limiting the cost of the uh, of the recovery and improve the durability, the strength, and the fire resistance of the entire structure. As I mentioned before, uh, the bridge jacketing uh, uh, is performed just to reinforce some of the element of the bridge, in particular pillars, beams, and the curbs of the of the road. Of the road. And here is. A, some of the detail of uh, the project uh, we, uh, we, uh, we designed for recovering the bridge. Uh, the jacketing uh, is performed in, uh, is performed just, oops, sorry. Okay, uh, just uh, a pointer. Yeah, okay. Um, the jacketing is performed only in the uh, green part of the, of the, of the visible, of this bridge. <coughs> okay. And here you can see some of uh, the phase of uh, the renovation process from the inspection of part of the bridge uh, to the cleaning of uh, damaged part uh, to uh, the concrete cast and then finally the check of the final result. Uh, in the parallel, uh, we uh, guys from the ICT part work on uh, the uh, design and the, and, uh, the design and the planning of the uh, structural health monitoring system. Uh, basically, we uh, work to monitor the well, some of the well-known parameters like uh, acceleration, strain, temperature, humidity, and traffic load. Uh, we design 
a structural health monitoring system based on a sensor installed inside uh, in different parts of, uh, of, uh, of the bridge. In particular, uh, we connect each of these uh, uh, sensors installed on the bridge using a cable, uh, a cable uh, Ethernet network in order to have a high performance uh, communication system connecting each node. Uh, in order to um, collect the data from uh, analog and digital signals, uh, we uh, design uh, a dedicated uh, a sensor acquisition box. Basically, a, sensor, a sensor acquisition box is uh, a data acquisition uh, devices uh, <coughs> that take the advantage of uh, edge computing for acquiring and processing the data directly uh, from a sensor installed in the bridge. And that's uh, an example. Of, a, of one of our prototype we install on the bridge. In the table, uh, there is a, 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 li a complete list of the sensors we install with the number of uh, sensors installed per each type of, uh, of uh, sensor, the sampling time, and the position of the sensor on, uh, on the bridge. Uh, we select the position of uh, uh, the installation, uh, position of the sensor on the bridge uh, using uh, um, a simulation numerical simulation in order to identify the part of the bridge uh, more stressed. A um, few details about also the installation of, uh, of sensors. Here you can see some of the phases of installation. And finally, we uh, collect from these uh, sensors the uh, data. In particular, we collect a real-time uh, stream of data from uh, environmental uh, sensors like temperature or humidity, we detect uh, some parameters regard regarding the deflection angle of uh, beams, uh, free, axial, sorry, free axial acceleration, and uh, for example here you can see also uh, some detail about uh, the traffic load classification system installed in uh, uh, the bridge in order to classify the traffic on uh, of the vehicle uh, crossing, the road, uh, crossing the bridge. Uh, what we learn from, just concluding, what we learn fr from our uh, practical experience that it's very important to um, careful planning the uh, installation of sensors inside the, in, uh, on the bridge, uh, the need for a robust and, ri and reliable communication system, uh, the importance of data security, uh, of the data transmitted from the uh, from the system to uh, data collecting system, uh, the value of real-time data, and uh, the need of a regular system to maintain uh, the quality of the data generated by the sensor installed on the bridge. Uh, what uh, we are doing now, we are we are we have some plan uh, some plan to. Uh, <coughs> testing this proposed approach on a longer bridge compared to what we, uh, on, uh, on, the bridge, on the bridge we test uh, during uh, this project. In this case, probably we have to move from a cable uh, connection to a, wired, a wireless communication system. And we plan also to uh, install additional, uh, an additional uh, measurement system uh, on the, the bridge in order to uh, correctly uh, estimate the weight of uh, uh, vehicle inside the bridge and to correlate the weight of, uh, uh, of the vehicles with the response of the sensor. Because currently we have some problems in this correlation. So, thank you for your attention and I'm ready for, for any question.